We're going to start seeing women playing football, and we're going to start seeing more and more women coaching football. We're going to look back on this time and, and think how weird it was that we thought it was so weird to see women in this game. My name is Katie Sowers, and I'm an offensive assistant coach for the San Francisco 49ers. So I don't... Everyone's just starting to get to know you. Make sure they know who you are after this. Being an assistant coach in the NFL, uh, there's long hours. During practice, I'm making sure that we're getting rotations in. Throughout the day, we have meetings, we have installs that we're going through, I'm watching film constantly. So at night, I'm, I'm constantly going through the opponents that we're looking at. I'll go through every game of the season um, and break down that film. I would love to see myself as a head coach someday. I know some people might think it's crazy, uh, but if we look back at the way that we've built society, uh, we have so many gender norms. And back in the day, if you would have said that women are gonna play basketball with the same rules that men do, they would have thought that was crazy. Being a head coach to me is a teacher, and I think we would never question whether men would ever listen to a woman as a professor or a teacher. Me being a woman, I don't think really makes that big of a difference because not all male coaches are the same. Not all female coaches are gonna be the same. I'm gonna bring my personality no matter what. Is today the day we learn more about Richie, Richie James? I feel everybody in you today, man. Even George, even George today. I feel everybody in you today. It's like work, it better it's show. Not something, it's not something special. <laughs> When I first initially came out as LGBT, I didn't see it as even a story. You know, someone just asked if they could talk about me having a girlfriend at the time, and I said, yeah, sure, that's fine, why not? Um, and then it came out I was the first openly gay coach, which I, I had no clue. But it had a huge impact on me since coming out with that story. I had a male coach come up to me who was a former assistant coach in an uh, NFL team who actually opened up about him being gay. Um, but he said seeing me coming out was, was huge progress. So I think, you know, just being visible and, and coming out as LGBT and being able to be myself, uh, it, it helps the language that we use and it, it really makes us a better overall, more inclusive community. I definitely feel blessed being in a, another uh, career where I can continue to be competitive and we get to really sit back as coaches and and watch what these guys have been getting ready for all week. Keep showing them who you are. And so it, it's kind of the time where yeah there's high stress there's but we really get to see what what it is that we created and uh, and hopefully have a, a good result at the end. Got a good energy. <laughs> Got to bring that energy. That's right. Need that, uh, Katie? That's right. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.